This is Bill Bragman with Yak Gear, and we're going to show you how to install our all-new outriggers. Uh, your kit will actually come with two of our floats. You'll notice that our floats are a little different than previous years. We're now doing a blow-molded float. Uh, it'll also come with two of the outrigger arms. You'll also be receiving two Starport HDs from Railblazer, and as far as mounting them, you'll get four well nuts with screws for each and every Starport HD. We're going to spend a little time now and show you how to mount the Starport HDs to make sure that the floats are parallel with your kayak. When you're mounting your Starport HDs, whether you mount them behind you or in front of you, uh, you want to make sure that the Starport HD allows you to put the arm straight off the kayak with the float being parallel to the forward or, if you're ba paddling backwards, movement so that the floats are in toe in and toe out. So what I always do is I will uh, put my Starport HD down and I will mount one hole and once that one hole is mounted it will allow you to pivot the Starport HD a little bit. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to mark one hole of my Starport and then use a 3 8 inch drill bit and go ahead and drill that hole And then I'll put my well nut in there. You want to make sure that you don't push hard on the well nut because the little brim cap potentially can push through. But then I'll put my screw in and I'll hand thread it just a little bit to catch the brass nut. Use a Phillips to tighten it down. I don't ever like to use a, a screwdriver, uh, excuse me, I don't ever like to use a drill with a drill bit because you may over tighten them. You will find that the well nuts when they're fully tightened make a totally waterproof seal. One other thing about well nuts is do not ever use any type of silicone goop as a sealer because it'll make the well nuts spin in the hole that you've drilled. So the part with the spacer is actually going to go towards the kayak, lock it down in place, Loosen that arm so that the float is on the ground. It sort of mim mimics the water. You may have to adjust it a little bit. Alright, now as I mentioned, the crucial part is to make sure that the float is directly parallel with the forward and backward movement. So what I always do is I'll stand in front of the kayak and I'll stand in back of the kayak and really look at how the arms are angled. You may have to adjust one way or the other to make sure that that float once again is parallel. So now that this is the position I want it in, I'm going to go ahead and mark the other holes. Pivot them out of the way. And now I'm going to drill my other three points. Go ahead and rotate your Starport HD over your holes. As I mentioned, I hand start the screws. And then continue to tighten them with a Phillips. Putting very little pressure on them because I don't, once again, I don't want to push the well nut down into the kayak. And you'll be able to use a little more strength once you feel those well nuts start tightening up on the inside of the kayak. Do not use silicone or waterproof goop or anything in the hole because that will make that well nut spin and you want a totally dry area.
have our outriggers installed, we put them on the back. You'll notice that we have them a little bit farther back to make it easier to reach around and raise and lower them. It also helps keeping them out of the paddle stroke. If you want to stand in your kayak, we have a lot of customers that like to put them all the way in the front as well. But it's your choice. One of the things that we've done on the new float is that we've added a quarter 20 brass insert. You can actually use a Railblazer mini port. Use a Railblazer camera mount adapter and get some really sick shots.